Hello friends, thanks for joining us. Liz and Greg with you. Come, uh, tonight at 6, the search will soon begin to find the next Baton Rouge Police Chief. After serving for nearly five and a half years, the Baton Rouge Police Chief Murphy Paul says he's done, but not right away. So what is next and was any of this political? We've got several reports for you tonight. First, let's start off with our Josh Bowering. Josh, good evening. Uh, I guess tell us how we got here. Hey, Greg, hey, Liz, the soon to be former chief actually told WAFB he's got no major plans right now and that he's just trying to figure out this next chapter of his life. Now speaking with Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom, she discussed some of the ups and downs that the city experienced with Paul as chief. I see value in everybody. Do I wish that we can work more closely together? Absolutely. <laughs> Does that stop the progress that we're going to continue moving forward in this department? No, it's not. After nearly six years leading Baton Rouge Police, Chief Murphy Paul is stepping down. Overall crime dropped 11% during his leadership, according to data from BRPD, but his time as BRPD's top cop wasn't without conflict. Chief Paul came on in a time, uh, was hired um, during a season where uh, Baton Rouge had been through a lot of trauma. Just months after the shooting death of Alton Sterling, the Louisiana State Police veteran assumed the role when tensions in the city were at their highest. Chief Paul was a bridge builder in that process. He made himself accessible to the community. He was involved in community activities. While the mayor gives Paul praise, the city's police union has been critical towards the chief. Bill Profita with the union stopped by WAFB sharing his requests for the new chief. We want to see a chief that's going to be tough on crime, that's going to make sure that our men and women have the best equipment, the best pay, and the best support. We also need a chief who is sensitive uh, to our community as well. Chief Paul plans to stay with the department through November. He still has a lot of work to do. We still have a lot of work to do in terms of elevating public safety for the citizens of Baton Rouge. The mayor says candidates from both in and out of the department will be considered. Now, during my talks today with the mayor, she said that Paul's decision to step down was 100% his own choice and that she fully supports his decision. Back to you guys at the desk. All right, Josh, thank you. So, of course, Ian Baton Rouge, the